Pokemon 151 continues to skyrocket with sealed product and singles constantly raising in value. This is getting wild. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, that there is an awesome plan for your life. I have been saying since the release of Pokemon 151 that it is likely going to go down as the best, most valuable, and most collectible set of the Scarlet and Violet era, and everything that's happening with Pokemon 151 is pointing exactly to that. I will add one small caveat that in 2025, when we get whatever the gym heroes slash rocket sets are going to be, those could change things up and that could become the best and Pokemon 151 could be right behind it, but I still believe Pokemon 151 is going to be the best. And I was at Collecticon over the weekend and I haven't really been paying attention to Pokemon 151 values for a while. And people were talking about the insane numbers, some of the sealed product and some of the singles and PSA 10s of those singles are getting. I want you guys to let me know. Drop a comment down below. Did you buy a bunch of Pokemon 151? Have you completed your set? Have you got the cards that you wanted? I recently picked up a PSA 10 Charizard for a fraction of what it's going for now, and I'm very, very pleased with that. But let me know down in the comments below. Let's jump into this and take a look at what's going on and some of the trends just over the past few months and how much of this stuff has skyrocketed. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with the Pokemon 151 uh, Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. So the exclusive ETB that was exclusive to the Pokemon Center. It has extra packs, it has that extra promo with the Pokemon Center stamp on it. This one is wild, guys, with the market price of $220. MSRP on these is 60 bucks, I believe. Yeah, $59.99 is the MSRP on the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes. And the market price is $220 on this bad boy for an ETB. And if we look at the actual graph, you can see that just really within the past month, we've seen a massive skyrocket to over $200. Uh, and with, you know, multiple sales at that price point, over 20 sales at that price point. So just the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB itself is doing really, really well and growing really quickly. Now, let's take a look at just the regular Elite Trainer Box, just the regular one that you could buy from any store, Walmart, Target, that still does pop up here and there. There have been little restocks happening here and there of this product, uh, but just the regular ETB, a market value of 86 bucks. It's a $50, $55 product if you, depending on where you would have bought it. $86 with a gradual increase in the past month uh, and lots of sales uh, at that price point. You can see over 80, around 80 sales at that 80-ish dollar price point. Next is a very interesting one. You remember the Pokemon 151 Mew Ultra Premium Collection boxes? just sitting on shelves everywhere for 100, 110, 120 dollars. They were at Walmarts and Targets all over the place. LGSs were getting rid of them for 100 bucks a piece. The 151 Pokemon Premium uh, Ultra Premium Collection, the Mew Ultra Premium Collection for Pokemon 151 is at a market value of $188 now, almost 190 bucks. This just snuck up on us, guys. You can see again, this happened about within the past month, even within the past few weeks, Pokemon 151 is starting to get really, really, really interesting. Going from about $130 to around, you know, over $180 with a lot of sales at that price point. And you might ask, why is this happening? Well, a lot of it is because of the singles, the packs are going up. This is a very sought after set. This is gonna be a very nostalgic set and it's gonna do incredibly well over time. After this, uh, this is an interesting one. I just wanted to pull this one up. It's the 151 binder collection. So it's the one that came with the binder that like, there were some real mixed QC reviews on the binder. Sometimes the top row wasn't tall enough or wide enough to actually get your sleeve, your cards with sleeves in there. Sometimes it was fine, but I believe this was a $25 MSRP product, if I'm not mistaken. Now it has a market value of $59. We're seeing the same exact time frame within the past month or just a giant increase in the values. 59 bucks for this. I think you get four packs. Yeah, four packs and a binder for 59 bucks. It's a very interesting one. So let's move on to the regular booster pack itself. This one's kind of been tumultuous and you know, prices going up and down, up and down, up and down on it. But it is, uh, the, the booster packs are sitting at $8 a pack. $8 a booster pack now. They were around holding strong at five bucks for a long time. And now we're at about $8 a pack for a single booster pack of Pokemon 151. Let's move into the singles. We're gonna start off with the heavy hitter first, all right? So the first one, this is what really made me think, I wanna, I wanna look at this and I wanna talk about this and make this video. 
uh, is the Charizard. Charizard was holding steady at less than a hundred bucks for a long time. You could pick this bad boy up for, you know, 90 bucks, uh, 80 bucks if it was a little damaged for a good long while. Now this Charizard has skyrocketed up to $170, some sales being around $200 for the raw copy, just the raw copy of this. You can see right there, there's one listed for 240 bucks, which kind of blew my mind because I bought a PSA 10 for, I think I got it for 225 bucks. I bought a PSA 10 a while back uh, because I'm like, I like this card, I want this card. And yeah, 225 sounds like a good deal. So I got it in a PSA 10 for close to what it's going for raw now, which is wild. I honestly, I thought I was buying at the peak. I was like, man, I gotta buy this before it gets any worse. This is still really expensive, uh, but I pulled the trigger. That's just for the raw card. And we can see the same thing right around the past month, it started to bloom in price. Let's look at the PSA 10s. PSA 10s of this are wild, guys. PSA 10s of the Charizard going for over $600, multiple sales over 600 bucks. There's one right there that said it went for 820. Uh, we'll see if they continue to sell for that price or not. That was a buy it now. Uh, eight, $819.52, who really knows? Um, so we'll see, but I've seen multiple for, for multiple days going for over 600 bucks for PSA 10s, which is pretty incredible for this card. It's a, it's a great card. It's gorgeous. I mean, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, next up is the Blastoise. The graph on this Blastoise is really odd uh, because I think it, the graph is getting all messed up because there's a lot of Japanese cards listed under the for, for the Blastoise on TCG Player as well. Um, but market value of this for the raw card is about 60 bucks. Uh, it held for about $40 for a good long time, but now it's about 60 bucks, but there are a bunch of Japanese ones listed on TCG Player, so I think that's messing everything up. Uh, but a PSA 10, not doing too bad for PSA 10. 275, around 300 bucks. 300 bucks for a PSA 10 is really, really good on this Blastoise. That's a quite a large jump, uh, especially for a card that's about 60 bucks. 300 for a PSA 10, pretty solid, pretty solid price increase. Uh, and then we've got the Venusaur EX, uh, another one that was kind of doing like the Blastoise for the longest time. Uh, you know, that sub $40, $40 point uh, market price now around $50, $60 again for this beautiful Venusaur. And then PSA 10 selling for about 240, 250 bucks, which again is a very large jump in price. And this is just some of the highlights of Pokemon 151. And it's no surprise when you look at like, just what you can actually pull from these packs. Here's like what, this is like the top 20, uh, save that Primal Groudon EX that I don't know why is pulling up on TCG Player, but this is like the top 20 cards and they're all worth $15 or more. This is uh, four and then one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, this is the top 20, all $15 or more. And like, there's only one card that's worth over $100 in the set, but when you have 25 other cards that are worth $10 or more, uh, the number four card is the Charmander, the uh, the illustration rare for $45 for a Charmander illustration rare. There's tons of value packed in these cards that are in these packs, tons of value in what you can potentially pull in the English version. The Japanese version has the potential for Master Ball Hollows and stuff, which is also additionally really, really cool. And we are seeing a commiserate raise in value in the Japanese boxes as well. Market value on the Japanese boxes is around like $100 a box right now. But when you have all this crazy value and the potential pulls that you can get, you can see why the sealed product prices are increasing. On top of that, you have kind of the unmeasurable factor of the fact that this set is a nostalgia bomb. You got people that are like my age that are in, you know, in their thirties and older that they're like, this is like all the Pokemon that I grew up with. For the longest time, it was just the 151. And so the fact that this set is the nostalgia factor for so much stuff that we all grew up with makes this set even more sought after and even more valuable. The only regret I have with this set is not buying more of it, is not buying more and more and more of it because it's good. If forget the money aspect, it's just a good set. It's just an absolutely fun set to have and open, and it's gonna be incredibly valuable in the future. Like I said, the only caveat I, I think now to keep potentially keep it from being the most valuable Scarlet and Violet one, or the most valuable Scarlet and Violet era set ever is with the 
Gym Heroes slash Rocket sets that's either going to be two sets or a combined set or whatever it's going to be that's coming out in 2025. That could edge it up a little bit, but I still think 151 will continue to be the most valuable because it is the original 151. It has even more of a nostalgia factor, but we'll see. Still going to end up being one of, if not the most valuable Scarlet and Violet sets ever, and it's just fantastic. It's just a fun set to open so let me know what you think down below guys let me know uh do do you have a full set of this are you happy with the amount that you have or now you're gonna be like i'm gonna try and go buy some more and pull some more. i'd love to know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video do me a favor give it a thumbs up that's free for you to do and it supports me a whole lot and it really helps the channel you can subscribe hit that notification bell all those different things if you like this video youtube says you'll really like that one right there too so go check it out and like i always say my friends find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world see you next time